Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I want to share this Note 3 setup, basically uh, kind of a, an extension from the previous Live Noding. Um, I might give you the blend this time. Um, so this is like a, some kind of uh, space junk. <clears throat> I created this using... I actually start this with a sphere chalk, and then I pass it into geometry nodes using the similar setup. So these guys, so the four objects down here is using geometry nodes and each one of them have some variations from the extra uh, kind of like a random extrusions remember just uh, from previous live noting and and then uh, on top of this we also have the shader so there's a shader happening underneath so when you when you render it out it will actually do the subdivisions etc and then what's interesting however here I started with a sphere chalk so sphere chalk uh, I'm using just this box and the output is gonna be alpha objects so this this one one box is still alive the other four is already kind of bake version if you look at the the UV of this box it started just like this, like a, I'm using the plane. Okay, I think I can resize the UV. Well, yeah, it's a kind of like on the fly thing. Um, because geometry nodes doesn't really have nodes that's dealing with UV yet. That's why I, I, I try using sphere chalk and this is just like a simple box with a one subdivision. And this is like a plain grid that's plugged into the box. Okay, so we, we can we can have like a, some interesting result just simply by playing with the with the UV. This is the main point. And uh, yeah, the rest of them will be handled by geometry nodes, of course, because the geometry node setup is exactly the same, just like last time. So geometry coming in and it's got subdivided and then extruded twice with two you know like some variations of extrusion scale selections based on this Voronoi textures so Voronoi texture is getting the u and the v value and we are using ramp and fractions processing like just like a simple math and we get the result same thing with the shader if you look at the shader yeah the shader is of course looking at the uv and yeah it's gonna do all this kind of cut and subdivisions on the on the fly when you render this out so the nice thing with this setup you can replace this with cylinder maybe this is like a cylinder that's been subdivided like a like a cone and you know this is something that you need to play around with it's not easily explainable but you see how sphere chalk able enable you to just make like subdivision and cut on the uv itself so you can arrange the uv so you have the results that's similar from previous one but you still have control over the uv of course you can always like uh, manually doing the uv as well so if you don't like cylinder, we can start with a torus, which is like a donut. And now it's becoming a donut. Let's check the UV. Okay, the UV is like that. It's overlapping. You might need to increase. Yeah, just play around with this number. Of course, proper UV will give you a better result. But in this case we are just making like a space junk and we are using a simple UV but what's the complex thing that's happening is happening under the shader and the subdivisions that's being generated here so and then you can still play around with the subdivisions of the cone itself and also the UV Okay. 
let's see. Yeah. So we got something here. It's looking like a, a bit like a junk, but still kind of interesting because you can make a duplicates. And then since this guy coming out from Sverchok being subdivided, and then there's also this value that you can play around with just to get a different result. You can have like an interesting space junk material based on the simple primitive objects. Okay, so that's the main idea. <clears throat> Remember also to play around with the shader because the shader also have this multiplier that you can play around with. I think some, depending on how complex your object is, you might need to reduce the number here or just increase the number. It's up to you. And you got this interesting looking result. Maybe I I remember I plugged this into the metalness at some point at some point. So roughness and metalness and the this black and white value that's coming in can affect the final result. I think the shader can be improved and of course the subdivisions using geometry nodes also can be improved but the underlying idea is there. So Sverchok primitives coming out and then you can see here this these objects plug into this set custom UV and currently we are just using plane but you can also use other uh, type of uh, primitives over here just uh, give it a try hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye